feet. This whole loop has been in lottery since the very beginning with SB 1224. Would you please state your point of order? You may explain your vote. Please proceed. Mr. Chair, at the beginning, I wasn't going to explain my vote. Mr. Chair, up before us is what is eligible for debate and what is not eligible for debate. Mr. Chair, I want to share with the members a conversation I had with a representative of an organization that works with several legislator, legislatures across the country. And on that day, Mr. Chair, our members during debate were repeatedly shut down through point of orders by the majority. This gentleman was a former legislator himself and he told me he didn't understand why the debate was being prohibited. And he said he had never seen anything like it in all the legislatures he's been. And so Mr. Chair, yet again, this has been a trend. I have, out of my four sessions here, I don't understand why this session this year, it feels like every time a Democrat opens up their mouth to bring up relevant information, including the Freeze Amendment, relevant information to the the text before us, to the legislation before us, the gentleman in the gallery found the comments that the member was making relevant to understanding why we are taking the positions that we are. Mr. Chair and my fellow colleagues, it is incredibly frustrating. And being of the party that continually has the points called against them, it feels like censorship. It's wrong. And it is especially wrong on a piece of legislation that has a disproportional impact on a democratic district. And their voices were being shut down during debate too. So I vote in favor of overturning the chair, not only on saying that this is not eligible for debate, but every single time this session I had to continue a debate with the chair just so my members can present all the relevant facts on the legislation that is before us. You can disagree. That's fine. I'm not offended when you bring up your points. I'm 